Hello and welcome. I'm Andy Jones, and tonight I'm going to be taking a look at While Your Lips Are Still Red, performed by Nightwish, of course, at Wembley. So I've been looking forward to playing this one, and my Patreon subscribers chose this in a couple of options that I put forward this week as to what I'd be taking a look at. So thank you to my Patreon subscribers for picking this one out for me. I really love this song, and I haven't listened to it all that much lately, so I'm glad to reconnect with it. So I mentioned Patreon and, you know, if you've been enjoying my reviews, a way to take a step up from that is to subscribe on Patreon because for just one euro, you can get early access to all of my videos, including my own music and my reviews and reactions. On top of that, if you go for the five euro subscription, you can get a bunch of bonus content on top, including outtake videos, including review videos that don't get onto the YouTube channel, including live streams. There's all kinds of things on offer there, also some of my early demos of my own songs and some performance videos, so there's lots on offer. If that tickles your fancy, go and have a look and check out my Patreon page, the link's right up there. Otherwise, please do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed my reviews so far and connect with the channel so that you can uh, see when I'm going to be online for premieres, hit the bell, you'll get the notifications, and then we'll see more of each other online here. So um, I am looking forward to jumping in and taking a look at while your lips are still red. Let's do this. All right, then, people at Wimbledon. I had to say that too. Uh, you know, we live in troubled times. Everybody's seen that in the news and all that, and blah, 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 blah. Everything we hear is bad. So, what I'm telling you, if you have loved ones, you know, girlfriends, boyfriends, wives, husbands, children, Grandparents, dogs, cats, whatever, canary birds, or pit marsh and kiss while your lips are still red. One of the many things I love about Marco is his ability to stand there at a metal gig with thousands of people around him and just pull out the message of this song in such a relatable way. You know, he's, um, he said... Forget about everything that's around you. Forget about all the bad news. Just concentrate on the people around you that you love and who love you and appreciate that. And that's not the kind of topic you necessarily talk about all that much at the metal gig. So really nice how he's just injected his personality into the song, made it funny still, but made it clear what it's all about and what to expect from the song. Fantastic. Love it. Let's carry on. Before we have vocals, firstly, I want to really appreciate the visuals that are happening behind the band while that's going on. And secondly, we've got to talk about sus4 chords again. I've done this before with uh, a number of other videos, but Tuomas is a master of using a sustained fourth chord to just create a little bridge of tension between um, the last chord in a sequence and then the next thing that's going to come along. So in this case, the introduction to the verse. Okay, let's hear Marco sing. Sweet little words made for silence Not talk, young heart for love, not heartache Dark hair for catching the wind Not to wail the sight of a cold world Kiss while your lips are still red While he's still silent Bosom is still untouched. I'm being on another hand while the hand still without a tool drown into eyes while we're still blind. The while the night till height, the withering. Thank you. 
And just before we go into that new verse there, because you know that's coming, uh, we'll talk about what we've heard already. So firstly, lovely vocals from Marco. Love them. And, you know, it's, it's not often you get to see the soft side of Marco. And it sounds great. Beautiful kind of tone to his voice. Lovely vibrato in the end of those lines. So, yeah, sounds perfect. And, you know, I mean, Empu's taking a break. You've mostly got Tuomas's keyboards there. You've got a little bit of background chords from um, from Troy. Kai is really holding back. In that first chorus, there's a little bit of um, cymbal work. One bass drum kick that I heard. And that's the great thing about that. If you have just one well-placed kick drum, it really just adds another dimension to what you're hearing already um, when, when it's not there otherwise. So then we go into that Ebo solo part that Troy's taken over here. And Nightwish are great at this, kind of introducing a melody that you're going to hear again later on in different forms. And here, you've just heard one iteration of that melody on top of Tormas's strings. And that's really hard to keep time with because you've just got the strings, which um, have a bit of sustain on them. You've got the Ebo, which has got its own kind of echo on it. And keeping time with each other from opposite sides of the stage, um, that's challenging. So um, really professional. You can you can just tell how professional this band is that they can stay in time with each other by um, you know by distance, even with that kind of setup of instruments. Okay, let's carry on. Got to pause there because there's nowhere else that I can do it, really. Um, okay, so we've got that second verse. And beautiful here, that's when Floor jumps in with the harmonies as well. And the bass joins in too. The drums become a regular part of the beat. So you've got a real step up in terms of intensity. Even though it's still relatively quiet as a song, you've got a lot of changes there that are really quite subtle, um, unless you're listening for them. Then we get into the chorus and Floor goes from the harmony of kind of singing along with every word into these kind of oohs and then back into the harmony so that's a really cool strategy just to make the harmony a little bit more varied and just to add a, a different color to it as you move through the different parts of the song so in the chorus you can have on a half time beat and you'll see why in a moment you know um or i suppose we're on you know a double time beat at the end but we'll spoiler you know so we get into Troy's second Ebo solo and it's essentially the same as the first but extended and with slightly different chords underneath the second half. You've then got um, Kai playing a kind of slightly louder hi-hat on the drums but still very simple beat. So this song in terms of structure it's not all that different from one part of the song to the next. You've got a first verse and chorus solo, second verse chorus solo and we'll see the rest in a minute. But um, it's not a particularly complicated structure of the song, but even from one part to the next, so much that's happening. Little changes that just make the song really interesting. Okay.
And just like that, it's gone. So um, we'll have to go back and watch the end again because there's quite a few things going on there that I want to mention to you. And, you know, if you've ever been at a gig where you've thought, you know, there's not really much changed in this song, but I really love it and it stays interesting and I don't know why. You know, this is a really good song to examine to figure that out. Um, when you go out of the second Ebo solo into the last chorus, we then have, again, the same melody, same lyrics, same two people singing, but now instead of the harmony, we've got the octave. And this octave system is something that we also saw in Last Ride of the Day. So instead of having the, the upper harmony, you've just got the two voices an octave apart. And then in the very last line, Flora also goes back to the harmony. So that's one change. The second change is that Kai opens up his hi-hat symbol. And there's the occasional little tom fill there. So again, not huge changes, but really substantial enough to, to make a difference to the intensity of the song. And the final Ebo solo, some beautiful little kind of alterations to the melody, just to keep it, again, just to keep it varied and interesting. And the first half of it, you know, even with a one solo, in the first half of it, Kai's on the uh, hi-hat, which he's opened up, and... In the second half, he moves over to his right cymbal with a tambourine hit every other bar on the fourth beat. Something that I really appreciate from Kai, that he's one of those drummers that will add a tambourine to some of the quieter passages rather than the snare, just to keep it um, a little bit more relaxed. And also, of course, Marco. He's changed his picking pattern. So whereas before it was dum, 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 a kind of slower one. When they've gone double time, he's gone into this dum 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 dum, almost an offbeat kind of rhythm because he puts his emphasis on the kind of like the second of each kind of pair of plucks with his pick. Is that the word plucks? Yeah, we'll call it plucks. So that's, uh, you know, just little things that contribute to the song being kicked up a notch in terms of intensity and variety and beautiful end beautiful end to the song. So love it. Love the atmosphere, beautiful lyrics, talking about appreciating the little things in our relationships with other people without all the complications of the world getting in the way. So, you know, just avoiding those distractions in life and being happy with the people that we love. Great message. Fantastic. Okay, so I hope I've caught everything there, but let's just uh, go back and listen to the end bit again one more time, just to make sure that I've not forgotten anything important. So yeah, just a couple of things I could also add. Again, those visuals, beautiful. Um, on top of that, I just wanted to mention also that the song ends not on the one beat of what you'd expect to be kind of like the last chord of the song, but instead it ends on the four and. So it ends on one and two and three and four and. So 
again, just a little bit of tension at the end there because it's it feels a little bit cut off suddenly, but that's obviously the intention of it. And of course, you know, the beautiful tone of Marco's and Floor's voices together again. You know, I never get tired of hearing them sing together. So beautiful. And again, a little bit of sadness that Marco is no longer going to still be with the band. But again, gratitude that we have recordings like this one where we hear him talking to the crowd, where we hear the um, kind of the lovely sound of their voices together. Just, yeah, really, really enjoy it. So um, I'm glad this was chosen for me to look at this week. Really enjoying reconnecting with some of these songs that I haven't really listened to that much in a while. So fantastic. Great stuff. Yeah, you know, when Nightwish put forward a ballad, it's always a beautiful one. I really enjoyed listening to that again. It's been a while and I'm just so glad I reconnected with that one today. So I will look forward to looking at some more of Nightwish's quieter songs again, blasts from the past like Sleeping Sun, for example, one that I really used to enjoy listening to. Um, Swan Heart is also in my mind as well from some of the quieter ones from the past. So I'm really looking forward to kind of checking some more of those out. Um, there have been requests for Annette songs and my next one is going to be an Annette song. So keep an eye out for that. And... This Friday, there's going to be a live stream here on my YouTube channel. So again, another reason to subscribe so you don't miss that. It's going to be this Friday evening at 8 p.m. CET German time, which is where I'm based. So just check out your calendars and see what that means for you. And do come along because in this live stream, I'm going to be doing a live review video of The Poet and the Pendulum. It's time. I've been waiting for this. I love the song and I'm really looking forward to dismantling it with you live on my YouTube channel. And on top of that, I'll be doing my first reactions live on air. So if you have something that you've been waiting for me to react to that you think I might not know, that's the time. Come by on Friday. Let me know what it is I should be reacting to and we'll put it on my playlist. We'll have a look at it together and we'll uh, fulfill some requests. Okay, on top of that, we're just going to be having a general chat and I'll be getting to know my viewers a little bit better and we'll see where it goes. I might even play a couple of my own songs just in between the reactions and reviews so you get a picture of what it is I normally do. So yeah, really looking forward to that on Friday. And on top of that, please do, if you have it, add me on Twitch. I'm aiming for affiliate status on Twitch, but I've only just started the channel. I haven't really had any official streams there yet, but I'm building up and planning that. So if you have Twitch and you'd like to see more reviews and reactions, spontaneous ones as well, please do go ahead and add me on there and uh, we'll get that channel started as well. Okay, thank you for joining me today. And until next time, folks, bye-bye.